Today we'll be looking on how to improve the 3 hour dragon which I've painted recently. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind. Welcome back to the channel collectors. So after I painted the 3 hour necromantic dragon, I looked at the mini and I thought, if I spend half an hour on it, what can I do? Okay, so in this video tutorial today, I'll be discussing on, if given the limited amount of time, what are the points that I'd like to pick up on miniatures and how I improve on them. So the first thing that I'll be talking about would be readability, okay? Remember about readability? I've always been talking about readability because readability is how you can communicate the form and shape and the material to the viewer. These are some of the things that you don't want to forget when you're painting. Okay? The second thing that I'm probably going to talk about is the color separation. I want to make sure that the main focus, probably the head, is going to be more outstanding than the rest of the other miniature. And the last thing would be the color composition and the unification of the entire thing okay so these are some of the topics that i'm going to talk about today so if you're ready let us begin all right welcome back collectors so this is gonna be a pretty quick video this video is gonna be about the areas which i look at and i hope that this video serves as a purpose serves its purpose where you can see the miniature before and after so you guys can see how I look at the miniature and I determine where can I improve so first and foremost I will be talking about the hand so I would think that the hands readability is pretty poor because uh, there is a overall lack in value separation the entire hand just looks like one pink mass of flesh and I would like to make sure that each individual joint and knuckle and the uh, palm mass is also visible so what I'm doing is I'm adding a bit of uh, flesh stone to the existing flesh mix and I'm starting to highlight this as you can guys can see immediately I'm not doing the entire surface of the hand I'm just focusing on certain areas such as the joints the fingertips as well as the little bumps on the on the hand so that you guys can see that the hand isn't just a mess and he has little details in there you just want to pick up the details so i'm going to do the same for the rest of the other pink parts also but they're not going to be in this video okay so to me readability is very important as you guys can see this is so much more readable and for the next segment what i'm going to do is I'm gonna be changing the eye color into red so one thing I realized from this uh, from this exercise is that the dragon looks quite uniform throughout the entire uh, miniature because uh, the dragon's face is glowing the same color as the body and immediately is not as read readable so what I've done is I've added red into black so I've created this motion blur trail thing. I think it's something fun that you guys can try. So that uh, because the dragon's head is pointing downwards, I would assume that the dragon's face was, was a bit further up. And now it's surging down, spewing out zombies as uh, according to the law. And I'm also adding in a bit of uh, blue from Chimera. This blue is the red shade to create the shadow areas which are the trailing areas then gradually I'm gonna be highlighting more and more towards the light source which is the eyeball okay so while you're doing this light trail what you can do is that you a tip that I will give you is that you just paint onto the model ignoring ignoring the form and shapes until the light source area Okay. So you want to make sure that 
the forms are ignored so that it gives a very convincing motion blur look. You can see gradually adding more ivory and white to the mix and making sure that the light source is convincing and you want to make sure that the areas are dry before you add on the subsequent colors. this for the other side too so right here I'm gradually adding more white and more orange pushing on the black sauce towards the eyes and eventually I'm going to use a color close to pure white to dot the eyeball you can also use a red glaze to clean up the areas to make this light sauce look a lot more convincing If you are still watching till here, I really thank you. I would also like to ask if, uh, if possible, do check the subscribe button and check the notification buttons also. All right, because this really helps us. And if you re if, and if you can afford it, head down to our Patreon links at the uh, links at the show notes below because these videos do take time and money to produce, and I really I'm really passionate about producing videos so that everyone can become better painters together all right so it's just two dollars if you can support us and at the two dollar tier you will get extended play footage for most of our videos so you guys can see me paint in real time So right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Chimera Green as a glaze. So this green, I'll be using it to increase the saturation towards the shadows of the light source. Additionally, I'm also going to use this to refine the shapes so that the miniature doesn't look so messy. Because right now, there are brush strokes everywhere. I want to make sure that the shapes are more correct. So I'm gonna use this glaze to clean up these shapes or so to make this light source look a lot more convincing because when there's a light source there's always gonna be a area of termination okay so now moving on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be unifying the entire body as you guys can see I would think that it doesn't look very uh, coherent because the blue seems to be only focused on the bottom but then I, I need this to to push the attention further higher so that I can focus the attention more towards the center mass of the dragon so right now I'm gonna add more shadow 
to the blue so this stage what I'm doing is I'm creating more interest towards the first flap of the wing closest to the dragon this will lend a lot more visual interest and subsequently you guys can see me highlighting this but right now at this stage what you can see I'm just adding in blues to increase the shadow so that I can direct the viewer's attention towards the middle of the model which is the dragon's body So right here as you guys can see I'm adding a bit more flesh tone and a bit more red so that I warm up this uh, this area nearer the nearer to the body and I'm gonna push the contrast even further making sure that the shapes are correct so this is just some very quick steps to make this tabletop miniature look a lot better okay so by pushing the values here and pushing the temperature in a different method it lends a lot more visual interest towards the middle doing the same for the other side So I'm just going to pull the camera slightly further back. Alright, so this is the final result for my quick improvement. I hope you guys found this useful. And yep, hope to see you guys in more videos soon. Alright, it was really really awesome to be able to spend another half an hour on this miniature because I really like this miniature and I really want to do it justice. Okay? Do you like the changes that I've made for this miniature? Let me know in the comments below. If you really think I deserve it also, please subscribe. Subscribe right now. Okay? Subscribe right now so that you guys get to see more of my videos. Hit the bell notification icon and turn on the notifications for all so that you guys get to see all the videos that I'm posting. I'm posting videos on every Monday, Wednesday, Fridays and sometimes Saturdays. By the rate of me going at the time right now, I'm painting this painted in 90 minute challenge every single day until this lockdown ends so that you guys get to see miniature content almost every day. Okay? So do that all right now. Smash that like button, smash that notification button and all right now. And I would like to make a personal request to you guys. If you guys can afford it, do head on to the Patreon. The links are in the show notes below. Okay? So become a Patreon today. The $2 Patreon gets exclusive content and also you guys get all my extended play footages so you get to scrutinize every single brush stroke that I do on all my miniatures, okay? And if you guys can afford it, please become a higher tier patron also because you guys get to have exclusive content and we get to interact and learn from each other and we get to become better painters together, alright? I hope to see you guys in the next video and I'd like to thank my patrons for making all of this possible, alright? See you guys!